Master Gardener, how can we grow a garden as beautiful as yours? Ten years. What if we work day and night and give all our effort to it? How long then? Twenty years. What if we devote our entire lives to nurturing the garden, forsaking all other pursuits? We've all gotten used to seeing and creating animated stories for social media. They grab viewers' attention and make stories so much more intriguing. But with everyone and their grandma creating such videos, it's become increasingly difficult to stand out. But what if I told you there's a way to elevate these creations from the typical still and silent AI images to something truly captivating? Today, we'll explore how you can level up your animated stories into unique, eye-catching masterpieces like the one you saw in the intro, using only free tools. Our process begins with our script. Then we will create and extend our videos and proceed to generate our audio. We will go ahead and add the lip sync to the video and also proceed with our compilation. Then finally, we will increase the resolution of our video with VMake AI. So let's get started by creating the script for our video. For that, we will be using the free version of ChatGPT. Since we don't have a story yet, we will use a cool trick to generate something interesting. Let's go to YouTube and look for a story that we like or want to create something similar. Now open a new tab, visit Chrome Web Store, and search for the extension YouTube Summary with ChatGPT and Claude. We will go ahead and add it to our extensions. As you can see in my case, it says, Remove from Chrome since it's already installed. Now let's go back to YouTube and refresh our page. At the top of the right sidebar, we can see Transcript and Summary. And next to that is the ChatGPT icon, which says View AI Summary when we hover over it. We'll go ahead and click it, and as you can see, we are redirected to ChatGPT. The extension has provided a summary in addition to a full transcript of the video. Let's copy and paste the transcript and add a command for ChatGPT to write three similar stories, considering the moral implications and educational value. ChatGPT has created three short stories that we can choose from. We can choose one and make modifications if necessary, till we're satisfied with the storyline and character dialogue. Now, our script is ready, so we can ask ChatGPT to write out each character's dialogue separately, including the narrator. This will make it easier for us to create separate voiceovers for our characters. Finally, let's ask ChatGPT to generate some prompts that we can use to generate our scenes. Our script and dialogues are ready now, so we can go ahead and create our videos. For this part, we will be using a video generator called HyperAI. Let's visit their website, hyper.ai, and sign up for our free account. Feel free to use your preferred video generator, but we will be using Haper AI for this demonstration, as it's completely free of charge and produces very good results. Once we've successfully logged into Haper AI, we will be redirected to the Explore page. As you can see, we have the option to create our video from a text description or to animate an image. Depending on your preference, you can select the option that is best. But for this demonstration, we will be creating our videos from text, so let's select that one and also choose a preset. We will use Arcane and also select 16 by 9 aspect ratio and finally change the duration to 4 seconds. Now let's go back to ChatGPT and proceed to copy our prompt and then come back and paste it into Haper AI. One important thing to keep in mind is to always select your preset first before you paste your prompt. Pasting it after the preset doesn't seem to work from my experience so you should always select the preset first, and then your prompt can follow. We can also choose to toggle the privacy on to keep our video private. Now let's hit Create to generate our video. Keep in mind that this may take a few minutes and the video isn't perfect, so we may need to regenerate the video or simply modify the prompt. While we wait for the video to be ready, we will go ahead and generate our characters. We will start with Hero and Ico, but we will be tweaking the prompt a little as I want to create black characters for our video. Let's paste the prompt for Hero and modify it a bit to generate younger-looking characters. We will do the same with Ico, and finally, we will change the character of our gardener to male. Our videos are ready, and they look pretty good. Keep in mind that you'll most likely need to keep modifying these prompts and regenerate them a few times to get your characters looking the way you want. Now that we have our characters, we can modify them to create specific actions. For this demonstration, we will only be modifying the character of Aiko. To do this, we need to click the arrow sign next to her character's prompt. Then we will copy her entire prompt and also copy the seed number. The next step is to paste the seed number and the prompt. 
We need her to be gardening, so let's change her description to holding a watering can and then hit create. As you can see, she's now holding a watering can and we can make modifications to the prompt if necessary. Depending on the scenes in our video, we can use this to create consistent video characters in different scenarios. Now we can move on to creating the voiceovers for our videos. For that, we will be using CapCut, but feel free to use Eleven Labs or any preferred text-to-speech generator. Let's go ahead and import our videos into CapCut. We will go back to ChatGPT and copy our dialogues. Let's first start with the narration. We will copy that and go back to CapCut. Now we can add a text to our timeline and paste our copied script. To create the audio, we need to choose text to speech and select our preferred voice for our narration. Once we're done with that, we can click start reading to generate our audio. And finally, we can export the audio and go back to ChatGPT for our next dialogue. We will copy that as well, paste it into our text and repeat the process to generate our voiceover. This particular dialogue is in unison, so we will give the voiceover to Ico. Now that we have our voiceover for Ico, we can add our video to the timeline. As we can see, the audio is slightly longer than our video, so we will duplicate the video and use a simple trick to make the video seamless. Let's select the second video and click reverse to create the illusion of continuation. As you can see, our video looks great and doesn't break at all, so we can trim the edges and proceed to export our voiceover and video separately. To save time, I will be speeding through the remainder of the dialogues Now that we have our videos and voiceovers, the next step is to create the lip sync. For that, we will be using a desktop-based application called Pinocchio. So let's go to Google and search for the application. We will select this link and choose from the available operating systems to download our application. The next step is to install our application and launch it. Now we need to search for FaceFusion and then hit on Download. If you're prompted for any requirements, Simply accept the installation and wait for the script to be successfully installed. Depending on the speed of your internet, this may take a bit of time, but once installation is complete, you will be alerted to download the JIT repo. Now that the repo has been downloaded, you need to install FaceFusion and then launch the application once installation is completed. Since the application runs locally on your system, the application will proceed to download your server and provide an IP address and port number for your instance. This may seem like a lot of work, but you won't be going through this entire process each time once the application is properly set up. When you see running on local URL, it means your server is now running. So you can click open session to start the fun part. The interface may look intimidating, but the only thing you need to change here is to uncheck the face swapper and make sure that both lip sync and face enhancer are checked. Then we can upload our source audio file, which is our voiceover, and the target file, which is our video file. As you can see, FaceFusion is able to detect the face from our video and use it as a reference. Now we can click Start and wait for our video to finish processing. It may take a few minutes depending on the speed of your computer, but the video will be visible in the output once it's ready. We simply need to download the video, and here's the result. Master Gardener, how can we grow a garden as beautiful as yours? Our video doesn't look bad, so we'll repeat the same process with our other videos. To save time, I won't be going over each individual video. So now that we have our videos, we need to go back to CapCut and combine them to make our full short story. We will import all our videos and drop them in the timeline according to the scene. For scenes where we want Hero and Aiko to appear together, we can use a simple trick in CapCut. Let's first drop one scene above the other. Then we will select the top clip, click Mask, and select Horizontal. We can move our clips to the right and left making sure that our characters remain visible. To adjust our scene, we can also click on the line to make any necessary adjustment. Finally, we can use the feather slider or drag the arrows to make our scenes better blend together. For scenes where we want all three characters to appear, we can drag the video for the scene environment and stack our characters' clips on top. Now we can select each clip with a character, click Remove BG, and then check Auto Removal. This does a pretty good job of removing the background, leaving only our character. We can repeat this process for the other clips and resize them as needed. Finally, our video looks great and we can add any effects and animations, if necessary, before finally exporting it. The final step is to increase the resolution of our video. For that, we will go to Google, search for VMake and select AI Video Enhancer. Let's create our free account and then import our compiled video. 
vMake does its magic and our video is ready in a few moments for download. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the like button. Now, let's take a look at our short story. Once upon a time, there were two young friends named Hiro and Aiko who loved flowers and dreamed of growing a beautiful garden together. They heard of a wise gardener who lived in a distant village and decided to seek his advice. Hiro and Aiko traveled far and wide, finally reaching the gardener's serene home surrounded by lush greenery. Master Gardener, how can we grow a garden as beautiful as yours? Ten years. What if we work day and night and give all our effort to it? How long then? Twenty years. What if we devote our entire lives to nurturing the garden, forsaking all other pursuits? 